How come friends with Parker? Mm -hmm. um, just uh, showing up, to be honest. Um, now he can drive himself, but um, initially it was, you know, picking him up and taking him home and just, you know, getting to know him. He's a country music, country music loving guy. And so, you know, just playing music in the car. Uh, loves baseball, so going to baseball games. I've seen him break a window at the baseball game, have it on video. Um, so, I mean, just showing up, to be honest. I met Olivia her freshman year. Um, she had showed up to her first Young Life event and she didn't know anyone. Um, so I just welcomed her to go get a snow cone with me and our relationship just grew ever since that day. I will love whenever they come to the school and I see Grayson. She's passing out donuts and um, it really brightens my day. Um, she was just so sweet and loving and like she came to something that like she didn't know anyone really at and like she was so willing to come and um, just hang out and meet all of us which is really sweet. Tez, I say I met him somewhere else but he said I met him at club, I'm not sure. But um, most likely at club or at campaigners at Will's house. Um, at campaigners is a little small group we have. And we kind of go over Will's house and you know play basketball, dunk on Parker a few times, and kind of talk about Jesus a little bit in the more um, intimate time. But Ted showed up and he's been coming ever since. Love is not a cage. Love is not a path. Love is steady hand. Getting involved in Young Life freshman year looked like going to a small group, going to Wednesday night activities, and then. Sophomore year, it looks like um, being a leader on college team, which is cool because the people that led me my freshman year, I now get to serve with them and alongside them. And it's been a very interesting learning curve for everyone. So being involved in your life looks like being led and then being able to lead others. We met 10th grade, beginning of club, he was new to the club, and I just walked over there and we was throwing the football with each other and we just got to meet him like that. I mean, it, it's pretty cool because he was one of my like, first real good friends because it was my first time coming to SHS, ninth grade year in Starfield Academy, and uh, it was just, he was one of my first real good friends, so it's just been weird. So I'm grateful for him, but we haven't broken until we so. Shanna and I's relationship started as her leading me and her pouring into me, but now it's evolved into a friendship and she continues to pour into me, but now she gets to see me pour into other people. And so it's been a very sweet relationship of getting to grow together. It's great. Why do I go to the school? I go because my savior tells me to. I go because the high school is the perfect place to meet kids where they are. I go because when I leave those bleachers full of high school guys, maybe they're left with a glimpse of God who came near. A God who moved into their neighborhood. A God who says, you matter to me. I go to remind them just how truly loved they are. Why do I go to the school? I go because 1 Thessalonians 2.8 says, because we loved you so much, 
We were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. I go because every kid has a right to know about Jesus. Every class, every color, and every ethnic group. In Starkville Young Life, we believe that there is no price too high to pay to see that young people have a chance to know the Savior. That's not just what Young Life is about. That is all that Young Life is about. Now you're